The square is dominated at its eastern end by the Great Church of St. Mark. It is described here by a perambulation starting from the west front of the church, facing the length of the piazza and proceeding to the right. The west facade of St. Mark's Basilica. The church is described in the article St. Mark's Basilica. But there are aspects of it which are so much a part of the piazza that they must be mentioned. Here, including the whole of the west facade with its great arches and marble decoration, the Romanesque carvings round the central doorway and, above all, the four horses which preside over the whole piazza and are such potent symbols of the pride and power of Venice that the Genoese in 1379 said that there could be no peace between the two cities until these horses had been bridled. Three, four hundred years later, Napoleon, after he had conquered Venice, had them taken down and shipped to Paris for the Piazzetta di Lianchini is an open space on the north side of the church named after the two marble lions presented by Dogel Vismo Sinigo in 1722, but now officially called the Piazzetta San Giovanni 23. The neoclassic building on the east side adjoining the basilica is the Palazzo Patriarchale, the seat of the Patriarch of Venice. Beyond that is the clock tower, Torre dell'Orologio, completed in 1499. Above a high archway where the street known as the Merceria, a main thoroughfare of the city, leads through shopping streets to the Rialto, the commercial and financial center. To the right of the clock tower is the closed church of San Basso. Designed by Baldassare Long, Hina, 1675, sometimes open for exhibitions, 5. To the left is the long arcade along the north side of the piazza. The buildings on this side are known as the Procurati Vecchi, the old procuracies, formerly the homes and offices of the procurators of St. Mark, high officers of state in the days of the Republic of Venice. They were built in the early 16th century. The arcade is lined with shops and restaurants at ground level, with offices above. The restaurants include the famous Café Quadri, which was patronized by the Austrians when Venice was ruled by Austria in the 19th century, while the Venetians preferred Florians on the other side of the piazza. Turning left at the end, the arcade continues along the west end of the piazza which was rebuilt by Napoleon about 1810 and is known as the Alla Napoleonica, Napoleonic Wing. It holds, behind the shops, a ceremonial staircase which was to have led to a royal palace but now forms the entrance to the Museo Cor, Cor Museum. The west face of the Campanile seen from the Piazza, during Carnival in Feb 1998, Turning left again, the arcade continues down the south side of the piazza. The buildings on this side are known as the Procurati Nuo of New Procuracies, which were designed by Jacopo Sansovino in the mid-16th century but partly built 1582-86. After his death by Vincenzo Scamozzi apparently with alterations required by the procurators, and finally completed by Baldessari Longhina about 1646. Again, the ground floor has shops and also the Café Florian. A famous café opened in 1720 by Floriano Francescone, which was patronized by the Venetians when the hated Austrians were at Quadris. The upper floors were intended by Napoleon to be a palace for his stepson Eugene de Boharne, his viceroy in Venice, and now houses the Museo Cor. At the far end the Procurati meet the north end of Sansovino's Libraria, mid-16th century, whose main front faces the Piazzetta and is described there. The arcade continues round the corner into the Piazzetta. Opposite to this, standing free in the Piazza, is the Campanile of St. Mark's Church, 1156 73rds last restored in 1514. Rebuilt in 1912 Camera, Dovira, as it was. Where it was, after the collapse of the former Campanile on 14 July 1902.
adjacent to the Campanile, facing towards the church, is the elegant small building known as the Loggetta del Sansovino. Built by Sansovino in 1537-46, and used as a lobby by patricians waiting to go into a meeting of the Great Council in the Doge's palace and by guards when the Great Council was sitting. Across the piazza in front of the church are three large mast-like flagpoles with bronze bases, decorated in high relief by Alessandro Leopardi in 1505. The Venetian flag of St. Mark used to fly from them in the time of the Republic of Venice and now shares them with the Italian flag.